Hello, I'm Richard Jackson. I'm the director of the National Centre for Peace and Conflict Studies here at the University of Otago in New Zealand. A year ago, we heard the dreadful news that there had been a terrorist attack in Christchurch. Uh, this struck home with us here at the centre because not only did, did we have a number of Muslim students with us at the time, but also the perpetrator of this attack lived in our community uh, and visited nearby uh, places where we had been as well. Uh, obviously this struck a chord in the whole country and people were deeply concerned and deeply upset with what happened. Since those attacks at our centre we've been in engaged in a series of activities to try and respond to that terrible day. Uh, we've had people engaged in further research on uh, right-wing extremism and white supremacism in New Zealand. Uh, we put out a statement uh, of solidarity with the victims. Uh, a number of our members got engaged with local activities organised by the Dunedin City Council to promote multiculturalism and community cohesion and anti-racism in the community, uh, as did a number of our other students. Um, some of us also got involved in making a submission to the Royal Commission into the attacks. Um, and there's other projects, including projects on social media, uh, that continue to focus on this uh, response to this terrorist attack. Um, beyond that, people in our centre are engaged in a whole range of broader research into the causes of violence, uh, into peace building, into development, uh, into uh, conflict resolution, uh, and so on. Uh, in the areas of uh, responding to violent extremism, uh, in the areas of peace education, uh, and dealing with radical differences between people. And this group of uh, scholars and researchers continues to do highly relevant research that is aimed at making the world more peaceful and finding ways, ways to deal with the radical and profound differences and disagreements that people have. Uh, disagreements that often lead to forms of, of di direct violence. Um, we're also engaged in research that tries to deal with the much bigger and more deeper problems of structural violence and cultural violence uh, that beset our world. So it's very important that uh, we continue to keep uh, these kinds of events in mind and continue to focus on um, the overriding necessity to find ways to live more peacefully together. Thank you.